What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to discuss three key tips for the SAT March because it's coming up and I want you guys to succeed, so stay tuned. Now real quick, before I share these tips, I want to thank today's sponsor, Loomist. Loomist AP is an online learning community that provides free academic support for high school students. The Discord server is extremely welcoming and the students there are very interactive, so you will literally never get bored. One of my favorite things is the fact that questions are answered so fast, so if you have any question regarding your AP test, they'll answer right away. They also offer custom problem sets and study guides for these classes. So if you're taking AP tests this year for one of these classes, then you know the server is for you. And probably my favorite features the fact that they have live zoom sessions and in the future they plan on having cram study sessions as well as crash courses so if you want to be a part of this community then use a discord link in the description below now let's get into the video so SAT March is approaching and a lot of students are one hitting me up saying I want you to cover SAT March because as you guys can probably tell I haven't been posting a lot of ST videos for a due reason just because I can help you guys in a bigger better ways but I don't want to leave you guys hanging. And since the SAT March is the first SAT of 2021, I need to make sure you guys get that 1600. So the first major tip I have for you guys, since March SAT is March 13th, so that leaves you about two to two and a half weeks left to study. And this was actually my exact situation when I took my first SAT on March 10th, 2018. So what I want you guys to do is literally spam the SAT math no calc section. What I mean by this, is today, like the, right after you're watching this video, I want you to do three SAT non-calc practices, all 20 questions back to back to back, get your scores for each one and then average them out and see where you are at out of 20. This way you can see exactly where you are in the SAT non-calc section and how much study you need to do. And the reason I stress SAT non-calc in particular is because it is the easiest section for you to maximize your score, trust me. I know if you suck at math, I know a lot of my friends sucked at math and I helped them by giving them my SAT notes and they use that and they learn the tricks and with these tricks, they were able to get 20s and 19s. Like that's really all you need. The SAT non-calc is just purely tricks, like a magician. And the same thing goes to the writing section guys. After you spam the non-calc section, I also want you to spam the SAT writing section simply because of the two SAT reading sections, it's the easier one and the one you can maximize the score in much faster. So you really want to, you know, get these easy sections, the SAT non-calc, SAT writing, so that way you're able to really maximize your score to the fullest extent. My second major tip is to not binge study all in one day or don't put off studying for like the last week. I want you to start studying today. I want you to study two hours every single day up to the March SAT. The reason being studies have shown by studying in sessions spaced throughout like the day or spaced throughout a couple of days, you're able to retain information much better. So this is way better than binge studying. Like I remember personally the day before my second SAT, which is my school held SAT, students didn't even come to class. They literally skipped school just to go to the library and study and binge the SAT. And they all got like probably 1200s or 1100s, which you know, there's nothing bad about that, but that's not a good score, right? I'm pretty sure you guys want to get like a 1400. And real quick guys, when I mean good score, I mean a score that will make you super competitive against other students applying to the same colleges you are applying to. Of course, the average is like a 10, 11 or 11, 10. So if you get a 1200, you're above average, but above average nowadays is not enough. Students are getting smarter. You gotta get like a 1400 at least. And my last tip is I want you guys to take a practice test the day after you see this video. After you see this video, like I said, I want you to study, spam the non-calc section, and tomorrow I want you to take an actual practice test. And after taking that practice test, I want you to review all your mistakes and know exactly where you went wrong. And then maybe three days after, I want you to take another practice test that you've never taken before. Or maybe you have, but like it was months ago. That's fine too. And then again, review your mistakes, make sure you're at least, you know, literally progressing your score from the one you're taking tomorrow and make sure your scores are actually improving and even if they're not just make sure you hone in on your mistakes because that's how you ultimately improve your score by fixing your mistakes and then what i want you to do is three days after that i want you to take the same practice sat that you took the first time so like i said after watching this video i want you to take one then three days later take another one and three days later take another one those last two right on the end points they should be the exact same sat all right, and this is one to build confidence. Yes, it's the same SAT, so you may remember some answers, remember how to do the problem. This will build confidence. Seeing that like 1400, that 1450 score pop up, it gives you mental confidence, and that's literally what you need to get a higher score. And this way, you'll be able to see if you actually improved from the mistakes you made the first time you took that same SAT. So I want you guys to use these tips, and they'll help a lot. Be sure to check out Loomis, link in the description below. Be sure to join my Discord server, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.